Hello. If I've been on a while, basically it's because I am on vacation. I have traveled from St. John's area down to Corner Brook, Newfoundland. This is where my dad's from. And my dad is the reason I started collecting movies. So, if you've seen my show, which by now you hopefully have the videos, then you'll know that uh, I collect a lot of stuff. Anyway, my dad has some really cool stuff and some really rare stuff. So, what we're going to do now, you can see something in the background, is I'm just going to do a basic overview and show you some of the stuff that he's got. So you can see exactly why I collect it and where I got it from. It's uh, going to become pretty obvious when you start seeing the stuff that he's got here. And uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to stop this now, I'm going to turn it back on, and we're going to go through the collection. And we'll, it's done in two layers, so we'll, you'll unfortunately only see mostly the first layer, but I'll talk about some of the stuff and let you know. Uh, a lot of cool stuff in the back, so uh, let's do it. So here we start with the collection, basically. Uh, Experiment and Terror, Coffee, a lot of the classics. Of course, the everybody. Okay. The Blood Red Knights, Curse on the Loose, Deadly Fiends. If you don't have it, just just get it. Come on. Uh, Curse the Devil. My dad's a huge Nashi fan. And uh, I gotta agree with him. Nashi kind of rocks when it comes to the werewolf stuff. So we're just gonna go through and look over at some stuff. Mystery Science Theater. He's got one that I got. He hasn't opened his yet. And of course, that is the one with the uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, the crow figurine. We'll look down the front here. It's got the uh, Mickey Rooney, G Judy Garland set, the Orloff collection. Of course, this is a Chantology and Cult Camp Classics. That's some pretty cool stuff from Hollywood to. From Rowdywood? I'm not sure. Uh, of course, the set <laughs> picked up over there. Of course, when I'm, you'll see these uh, TCM4 features. Those are the ones that I mentioned on my set of stuff you should get uh, if you're starting a collection. Uh, Prom Night, of course, he's got a collection there. Collections are always cool to get. Dad's a huge Hammer fan. He grew up with Hammer. He went and saw Hammer in the theater. So you're going to see a lot of Hammer in the stuff here. And he's got a lot of rare stuff. So as you're looking through here, you're going to see some stuff that you're like, damn, wish I had this. Yeah, and it's me too. That is quite a cool collection. So, we are all a product of our parental guidance, and Dad was a movie dude for me. As I became the movie guru to others, he became the movie guru to me. You know, we're just going to go through everything. You see, there's a lot of TV shows there too, like. A lot of the western shows, a lot of different stuff. Whispering, Whispering Smith, which I think was Adi Murphy's show. He's got the Ed Costello Legacy Collection. Actually, I gave him the uh, Creature one. Uh, and it's not just movies. Nope, it's not. We are going to look at some books. You'll see some movies over here as well. There's uh, John Wayne Collection, Elvis, as huge Elvis fan. My name is Aaron, after all. Think about that for a second, guys. If you don't, if you can't still figure it out, Google it. Uh, Russ Meyer, the Rat Pack Collection, I gave him that one. It's a pretty cool one. Charlie Chan, everybody's got a Charlie Chan in their collection. I'm sorry. Paul Nasty said, this is one I'm so jealous over. This is such a cool set. And he's got a, a nice few of the books as well. Uh, Peter Cushing Companion, Keith Richards, films, career of J Jimmy Stewart, Universal Studio Monsters, uh, Fragments of Fear is an excellent, excellent one. Done by uh, Ron Jeremy. Oh, not done by Ron Jeremy, but it's a book by Ron Jeremy. Of course, the Paul Nashi one. I think that actually spoke to Paul Nashi before he passed on. Uh, of course, Fernando de Leo said. We're looking at uh, a bunch of stuff here Predator, Die Hard, some more of the mainstream stuff. But he's got a lot of non mainstream, and he's a musical fan, Roger Hammerstein. The Blood Island set is one he said he watches a lot, so if you can get your hands on that Blood Island vacation set, Pretty cool stuff. Uh, down here, I can't, don't know if you can see it, but there's the Beauties and the Beasts box set. And uh, this is just the start of it. So I'm going to end that there and I'm going to be right back with you. So there we go, that's the start of his collection. That's a really fast overview. Basically, we're looking at stuff like, it's going to seem to go to the line for that, stuff like uh, anything between the, oh, the awesome science fiction. Ultimate collection sets, 
to the uh, really awesomely cool Chanthology. Both me and my dad are used Charlie Chan fans. This incredible Charlie Chan one came by uh, TCM. Uh, no, no features like the other ones, but I really recommend you get this one. It's pretty cute stuff. And he managed to get some of these double features. He always comes across the most cool stuff. The limited edition uh, hammer double features. He's gotten quite a few of these. Yo, I bought, I got a bunch of stuff off my dad recently, so you're going to see that when I get home. I'm waiting to do a huge two or three part uh, of what I got. So, but there, he has some cool stuff. He has the uh, Satanic Rites here in Dracula Prince of Darkness on a cool disc edition. Wow, oh, there's so much. And that the elusive VCI Savage. Is it VCI? I think it's VCI. VCI Savage Streets. The other print edition. I recently picked up Manhattan Baby on the Lucio, Lucio Fulci collection. It did not have New York Ripper. So guys, I'm looking for New York Ripper. Give me a shout out if you have an extra copy or inbox me. This is the one for right now. I'm probably going to load something else up before I go to bed. There's a lot more movies to show you. By the way, this is only the pretty much just scraping the uh, just the first layer of the films and there was so much behind there. Um, last thing before I go, when I was working at uh, the Y, a few years back, got a lot of a book from it to read. And it is called Fragments of Fear, an illustrated history of British horror films. And this was put out by Creation Books. And I can tell you right now this is one of the coolest books you'll ever read on the uh, on British horror. British do a pretty damn good job of this stuff. Sorry if it went out of frame there, but it cannot be helped. So, as always, same, same bat time, same bat channel. I'll be back here soon, and I know there's some comments on some videos. Uh, because I'm not home, I don't have a computer on, on hand, I will be replying to the comments when I get home. If I uh, apologize if they're late. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. And uh, here at my dad's, I'm going to see some more stuff, probably do some stuff when I get to, go down the coast as well. Right now, for me, it is time for tea.